As distilleries pop up across the state, barrel makers are keeping busy. In this week's Find in Minnesota, John Lordson takes us to a cooperage in Park Rapids and shows us the creative way that whiskey barrels are made in the land of 10,000 lakes. It starts with white oak. The two reasons are it tastes good and it doesn't leak. At Black Swan Cooperage in Park Rapids, a flavorful whiskey starts with a flavorful wood. A lot of that flavor in your whiskey comes from the barrel. Some might say at least 80% of it comes from the barrel. Heidi Korb and her dad Russ Karsh began making barrels together in 2009. I'm the luckiest guy on earth. My daughter get to work with her every day. Prior to teaming up with Heidi, Russ built log cabin homes before turning to a much different kind of woodworking. There aren't that many people that are making barrels. He found a niche, and over the years, business has definitely rounded into four. The father-daughter duo has now delivered whiskey barrels to all 50 states and 11 different countries. Their team of 12 employees worked nonstop through the pandemic, all while dealing with a wood shortage. Nobody here drinks whiskey, though. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> The Coopers, as they're called, start by quarter sawing the white oak. The logs are then turned into staves, which become the foundation for the barrels. The staves have to dry for a month? Yes, give or take. There are four different ways to give a barrel its shape. At Black Swan, they do water bending by putting the staves in water that can reach up to 160 degrees. So that heats up the wood so that it makes it more pliable and easier for us to bend into that barrel shape. After the metal rings are added, the last couple steps might be the most important. So the main difference between a wine and a whiskey barrel is that a wine barrel is just toasted and a whiskey barrel typically is just charred. At Black Swan, they do both, sometimes toasting a barrel for an hour and a half before charring it. It's really all about the flavor and when it smells right, that's when it's done. Instead of putting the spirit in a barrel, we're trying to put the barrel or the wood in the spirit. Some of the equipment they use is more than 100 years old, and while the shape hasn't changed in 3,000 years, wood shortages have forced Black Swan to think outside the barrel. They even invented a honeycomb wood alternative, which combines science and flavor. The infusion of the, the, the sugars and the tannins that are in the wood will go nine times faster extracting or uh, penetrating from the end grain versus the side grain. The process is labor intensive, and the goal is to produce more than 100 barrels a day, all while appealing to changing palates and a new generation of whiskey drinkers. The young people are, are demanding new flavors, and, and we're able to produce some really, really unique products or help our distilleries do that. It, it's a fun, exciting time. In Park Rapids, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. And to give you some perspective on how labor intensive this is, only about 40 cooperages in the entire country produce more than 10 barrels a day. Black Swan sells a lot of its barrels to Minnesota distilleries like Tattersall, Far North and Rock Filter.